there's just a lot of stuff that's got to go. The judgmental stuff, it's got to die. It's got to go. Who cares if you don't understand it? You don't understand you. You don't understand your wife. You think you understand God? Wives, how many of you understand your husbands? Not one of you. This stuff's all got to go. Judging people. Saying, well, if I were them, I'd do it this way. Yeah, but you're not them. You're not them. You don't know what it's like to be them. You don't have the scar tissue. You don't know what it's like to be misunderstood. You're just doing your best. You're trying to follow Jesus. And people on the sidelines are critiquing you. And we do that to each other. Maybe that's why you're not doing what they're doing. Nobody gets to where they are by accident. Yeah, it's all by grace. I'll never forget a letter Oral Roberts wrote to a friend of his. I read it. He said, you're a fellow battle-scarred warrior. I honor you. Man, you don't press into the realms of God without being misunderstood. I told somebody the other day, I'd rather die than dishonor those who've touched my life. I'm not doing it, man. I don't care. I don't care if nobody has me preach again. I'm not going to sin so that I can get onto a platform. I'm not doing it. I'm not. Somebody said, oh, you know what you could do? Pastor Benny's a little controversial. I'm just going to let it fly tonight. He's a little controversial. Maybe just take him out of your book. How can I take him out of my book if he led me to Jesus? What do you mean? I'd still be sick in a crowd with an incurable disease. No, you take him out of your book. I'm not doing it. I didn't get into this thing to be well known. I got into this thing by accident. I wanted Jesus. I wanted him to walk into my prayer closet and look at me. And I said, Lord, you got to come. You gotta, what do you need from me? Do you need a song? I'll sing. You want me to dance all alone? I'll dance. You want me to sit here in stillness for a day? I'll do it. Do I need to not eat? Is that what it is? I won't eat. What do you want from me? Do I need to go to a meeting? Do I need to fly to Reading? I'll do it. What do I need to do? you got to talk to me. See, that's the heart that God touches. Not a bunch of sideline experts who don't know what it's like to look at someone who's dying and they belong to a family and you're doing your best to get the job done and the church sits around and goes, oh man, if I were you, I'd do it that way. Well, here's the problem, man. Your hands are empty. I'm tired of laying empty hands on people. See, that's the thing. If we just get along with God and say, I don't know about them, Lord. They're not my concern. You're my concern. I want to be like you. I want to be just like you. That's my desire, Jesus. I want to be like you. What do I have to do to be like you? Tell me and I'll do it. All that's got to go. I'm not, look, I love you. I'm not getting on you. But I see something. I see God's plan. God's plan is a Jesus people. And Jesus didn't do that stuff. He's still not doing that stuff. 